Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers and Resources. I hope you're having a sweet day today. I'm buying a ton of steel. Because I am, uh, I'm very low on it. And by very low, I mean, uh, if you take a look at the storage over there, we have none. I've used it all up. Been building a lot of things, been trying to queue up a lot of things to build, and I wanted to show you what we're up to here. Uh, so in this video, I've got a couple of things I'd like to take care of. And I don't really know exactly what order we're going to do them in. It may even be a little bit disorganized, and I apologize for that if that happens. Um, but I kind of wanted to take you through a little bit about what we're doing, okay? I want to get chemicals organized, but I'm not going to be able to do that, at least not soon, because I need to tear down some of these electrical, or some of this electrical here, okay? Um, so... I gotta get basically this electrical line here is gonna be in the way at least when you look at it right here this little part right here is in the way so I need to sort of redo this and I'm thinking about maybe coming around the this side and then coming this way so like I gotta come around the station but I gotta get the lines out of here basically all the electrical lines need to go I'm hoping I can cope with the high voltage one because that one's a really big pain in the ass to, to change. And I'm going to have to make me make create some redundancy here if I'm going to do it. Speaking of redundancy, I'd like to talk a little bit about getting a wind farm set up here and then getting that wind farm to sort of pop into various places around here so that we can get some supplemental power okay so in the event of losing coal or just our power grid getting really stretched thin we have renewable power to kind of supplement it a little bit i don't know if we can really get to that today but i'd like to try and get to it today one of the things i'm going to do to just try to get ahead of it is i want to take a look at this okay this thing here is powering several different buildings but some of these buildings i've already provided extra sources of power for so like there's this electrical substation here which has a 92 percent connection so it's pretty solid um, we have this one here which is also at 82 percent and unlike this one which has the one and a half pole into it it's not actually able to do one and a half right so this isn't really pulling its weight uh to where this one is it's got a full two three five going into it all the way to a dedicated port on that so uh, we are getting this one full. But this one over here, it's barely used. There's hardly any power here going in here, right? It's right there. And so what I'm going to do uh, is I need to figure out which buildings are being exclusively powered by this so that you have some supplemental power here, right? The helicopters, they got a little bit of supplemental power, but it's it's just that little tiny wind farm and like a little tiny wind turbine, right? So it's not really that much power. So I need to get this to stay connected but i need to do it in a slightly different location and i need to do so where we're not going to lose it so like this for example this technical service office it, it doesn't need power because the really the only reason to provide power to this building is if you're trying to refuel things here and we do have fuel here so nobody will be able to refuel here but the trucks will be able to go to gas stations and stuff okay so now that I've kind of established and set the scene on what I have to do to get chemicals, let's kind of queue up some of that to happen. So I already said I, I got to get this rerouted, and I, I think I can do so by taking this power and uh, kind of maybe starting right about here, I think, this one. Yeah, probably with this one. So from this one all the way over to this one, I want it to go down to there. So it needs to go from here basically so we're going to try to eliminate this power connection right here and in doing so we're going to end up shutting off power to this building which doesn't look like that's hurting the helicopter construction office much because again they really only need power here to refuel which the helicopters will need to refuel here so eventually that is going to be a problem but at the moment they have fuel so they can do some things so let's put them to work doing some things I want to come all the way over here for a second and we're going to take a look at our steel area we need to get this set up and running now at the moment i've got this warehouse built and i've set it for electrical components and mechanical components i've also got the storage built and set it to steel prefab bricks and boards so this thing's ready to go the only thing that's not ready to go is the supply to get here so let's start that to do that we're going to come over here to our uh 
train distribution office. It's only got nine connections added, so that's nothing, right? And what we want to do here, right, is we want to add this. Then when we add this, we're going to tell it to unload steel, prefabs, bricks, boards, mechanical, and electrical components. This should be all we need in order to start getting construction going on over here. Okay. Um, and then we we're going to want to add a little bit more on the board side and the steel side and a little bit less on the prefabs and brick side. And the reason for that is because the helicopters can access these two resources. So they have been bringing them here the whole time. So most of these structures that we're going to be focusing on already have some of these components uh, delivered and not that one. I didn't, didn't really, not a good example there. Uh, mechanical components are delivered here, right? I uh, got mechanical components delivered here. This one has all the bricks done already, right? So there's, there's some of that's already done mechanical components, etc. cetera. Um, but they haven't been able to access steel. So that stuff has been happening from a really long distance with trucks. And we want to try to avoid that. So, uh, I'm just going to have them maybe bring a little less of that. So, as I've set that to be the case, I'm going to come back over here and we should now see trains are leaving the station destined to take boards from this area, which is great because, oh, see, perfect example of how this is supposed to work right here. Three trains in here at once, possibly even a fourth. Boom. That's how that's supposed to be, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad that that worked out. So we're going to get some trains. Now, you're going to see that there's a few things, I think, going on here. Um, and that is that they aren't actually loading it right now. Because this one is. So maybe only one of them at a time can load. Because that actually was supposed to happen. And it's not, it doesn't seem to be. That's a little bit weird. Maybe it's because of this. This is waiting. Well, okay. So the track builders are going to do what track builders do. Let's just get you out of the way. And I think when this thing moves on, perhaps these things will then start to load. It's a little bit weird that you're not. Where are you getting this stuff from? Oh, they've decided to go all the way to the border for it. Right. Because I told them they could load from the border. Okay. So that didn't, that didn't happen the way it's supposed to, because this thing has been told that it's allowed to get this stuff from the border. And I did that so I could actually purchase extra resources. So perhaps what I should do here instead is go to the customs house right here, right? And tell them that they should not be buying this stuff at the moment. Then they'll start loading it the way I wanted them to. So that part's my bad, but that's, that's in practice how it's supposed to be. All four lanes are supposed to be usable. And then they would theoretically be able to turn around and go back this way. Um, because it's because of these two crossings. All right. So anyway, they're going to take th those trains are, are generated now and they are going to bring all that stuff out this way. All right. So we're going to be able to, to build things here. We also want to make sure that we can build things here. Now it looks like we need a little bit more steel and I'm going to make sure that we get these projects kind of like raised in priority here because I really would like to start getting gravel brought out this way too. We are not going to be able to get concrete out here, at least not yet. And we're not going to be able to get asphalt out here, at least not yet. In order to get asphalt out here, we kind of have to process it here, and that's not good. However, we can hook up bitumen to the train network later on. That would be probably possible. Be a little expensive with the pipes, but it would be possible. Um, and then concrete is pr improbable, but we could get with another train office most likely because we're kind of at our limits and how many wagons we have. Um, but with another office, we could potentially hook up cement and bring cement out this way to create concrete. We're going to just kind of play that a little bit. Like it doesn't need to happen right away, um, but you can't have asphalt and concrete unless you create them at that source. So um, to get those two resources out here is going to be a little bit tricky. You have to have labor out here to do it. We're not going to focus on it yet, but everything else can be taken care of by this construction office. So we're going to go into here and we're going to get construction office stuff. Uh, we're going to open with the actually let's all we really have to buy here, I think, is a covered hull, because if I just grab one maybe two of these tops i really don't think i need more than two and we're probably good there uh and then eventually we're going to want some dumpers in here too so i'm going to buy four let's say five dumpers yeah four is fine all right then we're going to come over here i have already got vehicles that can be useful uh in this office so these guys are here and we got this stuff hooked up so we have extra oil and stuff being produced in there 
Uh, however, this thing has intermittent power outages, most likely because this entire setup is powered by one turbine, which is maybe not the most stable thing. I think it would be okay. I would be okay with just adding a second one here. It's not that much expense to make sure that this stuff stays operational all the time. But with a little less wind, we could have this stuff working. So I'm going to pop one of those down and we'll just have that happen. But these vehicles, these four excavators and the bulldozer, we're going to take those and put those over here. So those can now help out with the building process too. I also would like to come over to our vehicle depot here. We've got three of these flatbed trucks just sitting here doing basically nothing. And we're going to tell these vehicles to go to work over here as well. So now we've got open halls oh we got we got open halls we got covered halls we got dumpers excavators um we don't have anything related to like building roads out this way so we could maybe go in and prompt to get some road stuff as well because we have the dumpers that gives us access to making gravel roads and stuff and we have a bulldozer probably a second bulldozer would be a good idea so let's just maybe take i think it's the is it the blue one that i had before not entirely sure what's there's the blue one or not it's uh all right it's this one here the s100 so we're gonna buy another one of these uh that gives us two bulldozers in this uh construction office uh good and then uh we can go in again getting asphalt in this area getting concrete in this area a little bit tricky there um it might be better to just rely on the existing road offices that we have and just to tell those you know the open halls and stuff to just take their stuff over here to do it um but at the same time we can get the mechanism in place and then just have the dumpers bring the asphalt here it could be better and i believe we have some room in this office to make that happen so why don't we go ahead and get at least get one paver here and then one roller here so that we have the ability to do those later on uh, as we go we're not going to give it any concrete trucks because the cement mixers i'm sorry uh cement trucks right because they're all the way over there concrete mixers whatever the heck those trucks are called man uh so all the resources are being brought here this is good and this is where gravel is going to be right let's take a look really quick what's going on over here all right so why are you waiting forever probably because of track builder nonsense so you're oh it's the mixed okay it's the waste train you're not supposed to be in here, Waste Train, and eventually you won't be in here, but at the moment you are, and you need to do something about that. The Waste Train is waiting because of the track builder being in the intersection, so when that's cleared up, I should probably lay some signals in here to help with that. Let's do that. Uh, so we're going to say that we get a chain here and a clear here. And then on this side, we already have this. This is temporary. Remember, we're going to get rid of this. Um, in fact, we could get rid of it fairly quickly. Uh, all I'd really have to do, I guess, in this case is let's bring this just a little bit further out this way. Uh, yeah, probably around here. Let's bring this a little bit further out. And then it's going to end up rounding into that, right? Um, but if we do that, then we could get a wooden track here. I'm going to try to do something like... I think maybe we'll just go from the border. So they'll come over here, they'll go around, and then they'll end up being like this. Simple as it is, like that. And we're just going to make these the wooden tracks because we can. Okay, so that takes care of that takes care of that issue. Once this is built and these are built, and then we can connect that up over there, then we can get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. Everything will be fine. So let's just remove the track builder and get that out of the way. The waste train should have already left. Indeed, it did. And uh, it's out of the way now. Okay. Good. Uh, I had something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, um, the... Right. The seasons. I'm not even entirely sure if I talked about this yet because I got around. Uh, seasons, right? It's about to be winter again. You might be curious to know how our crops have been doing and how this crop system is doing, working out. And the answer is it's working quite well. We have a... Uh, we had to end up getting through the entire year without needing to buy crops from the border uh, as far as food goes. We have not yet tapped into our reserve supply. It is still 800.24. 
And so we've been entirely reliant on this and this alone. This is very good. Uh, it did get very low to the point where we almost had to dip into it, but we ended up harvesting more crops in time to just fill this back up, which is perfect. Now, we also don't create enough. Uh, we don't have enough storage for crops in this building and this building in order for all of these buildings to continue working through the entire year. So we're not as productive overall over a course of a year as we would normally be. But because we don't have a train sitting here doing absolutely nothing except soaking up the resources the entire time, uh, it means that we only come in here to grab what we're going to sell and then leave. And we don't come and do that until we reach a certain threshold. And in this case, it's 70%. So over here, we don't come in and grab this stuff until it is over 70%. And that's going to allow that to be awesome. So there's our 404 tons. And that will come back over into there. So that's how that's working out. Did we get this uh, electrical? We did. It is, it is disconnected. Uh, although, it didn't do this one. And that's one I need done too. So... I need you to take that post out of here, please. Let's make that a bigger priority. All right, when they remove that, which is a very simple thing, we can then redirect this. And I can start that redirection now because it's not connected. So take the 1-5, or is it a 1-2? No, okay, so they have to do this one too, okay. It's a little difficult to kind of tell where should I click, but you see this? But the scaffolding? The scaffolding is not an indicator of which one's getting removed. I think it's an indicator of where the removal is stopping. And that's the part that kind of confuses me sometimes. But yeah, over here, it's not the case. So I'm actually a little bit confused on how to reference that. But in theory, this one should stay. And this, and this one should stay. And then I will be able to take this and bring it over here. That's the hope anyway. So we should be able to take the 1-5 from here. And bring it this way. Yep. Okay. So that's what we're going to work on after they eliminate that stuff. Uh, for steel. Come back over here. So I can put these things on auto search, but I have to tell them where to get the stuff. Uh, and they can't get gravel yet. So uh, first I'm going to tell them to get steel from here. Bricks, you're getting it from here. Prefab panels, boards, mechanical components, and electrical components. All right. There you go. So now they'll be able to spring to life and go and get all the things within a 2,000 meter radius. There. You should see them spring to life. There they go. Now they might complain about having no fuel. Because there's no fuel out this way. And I need my fuel rats to come and do that. But that's a really long distance for the fuel rats. So this is another thing I wanted to take care of today. Just to really get this going. Because I want to start building out here. Uh, and that is getting this part hooked up. Okay. Now, uh, first off, the track builder is going to be very confused forever. So, because uh, they're building this and they're uh, going to get trapped because they can't go backwards. So, every time they get in here to build, I have to tell them to teleport away. At least until they can build this all the way out here and then they can go. Um, I want to get this, this going. So, they've built this already, which is great. And uh, it looks to me like they're nearly completed with this pipe. Uh, but I stopped them a long time ago from doing it. So, now I'm going to allow them to complete it. And I'm actually going to tell them to uh, go ahead and add some labor to that as well. All right. That's going to allow us to pull fuel from here. But you'll notice there's not a whole lot of fuel here, right? It's getting there. We got 983 here, which is good. Then that will start, you know, filling up and everything. And then we should start seeing fuel stay here. Uh, and maybe start filling in both of these, which would be really nice. But what I want to see is fuel starting to accumulate in this tank. So that I can grab it with the train and then bring it over to where it needs to go, which is way over here. So let's get ourselves a situation or a sta uh, sorry, a station. Let's get ourselves a station where we could uh, receive that fuel. And I don't think there's a reason not to do it here. I think this is a fine place for it. Um, we just need to kind of keep in mind of like where we are and not to go too complicated with the intersections. So for the tank the storage, like the storage for the tank itself, I think that can be located here. Um, and we're going to use the one that has the ability to just drive in here and park in here, right? Without being on the road. So I'm going to use this one here, I think. I think that's an okay spot for it. 
that's where the fuel is going to get stored where the train's going to drop it off is another matter um kind of hoping there would be enough space in here and i can easily make that happen because of the uh dirt road it could just be removed um what i'd like to see happen is two tracks on this side for this on the drop off which can be right in here i think um because there's probably going to be a need for a lot of fuel in this area so we're going to want to have a relatively long train that comes and does this so probably right about here is where i can unload this and then that will feed into that tank over there uh so why don't we go into the road tools real quick and i need to eliminate something here there we go that'll cut that off and then cut this off okay so now i can get rid of this and what i want to do there we go like that and let's bring this back like that okay i want to bring the fuel loading and unloading for the trains we're going to bring this right um we can maybe come a little further away give a little bit of extra room for this my hope was that i could get this to join into that intersection but it looks like i'm gonna have to do it further back so that i have enough room to join in here yeah i'm gonna have to go a little further back let me see where this is gonna be one so right about there is my length that i want to try to avoid so I can, I can merge it in right here and it wouldn't be much of a problem okay fair so let's say that you are going to be stored here and then we'll have you go like this and I, I need it to actually be long on both sides because it might they might come in here I might have fuel later that I want to bring it in on so why don't we actually bring it back a little bit further here let's say to here like this this is where we'll store the fuel and then the train needs to come out and over oh we can come straight with it for now yeah that's fine Straight out like this and then over like that gives me a little extra distance for future fuel trains and then you're gonna go out this way actually just bring you right up in here like that that's fine and then from here i need to merge in pretty much the same place that this is to keep this to be a single intersection so we're gonna remove that signal and then we're gonna bring you right like that and bring you like when we're back like that should be good yeah it's all one intersection now which is nice let's eliminate some of these extra points don't need them here yep that seems good uh one extra point here no that looks like an extra point to me but apparently it isn't so go ahead and submit that and uh there we go so and then we can just take the signal that we just had and we'll just bring it back to here now so that's our intersection now for this uh okay so trains get to do whatever they're going to do but we're going to drop that off here and then we can have the tank bring it out this way and we should hopefully be able to do this because of our new longer pipes that we have we can hopefully get it there looks like we can pretty cool so this will just dump the fuel all right you need to be a more straight line here no need, no need to waste resources there we go there we go all right that's going to be where we deliver the fuel so all the fuel gets dumped into here for this entire area to get refueled and all the things we're going to be doing with fuel over here we dump it into this single tank and then all the people all the sources everyone who is you know needing to be refueled all the trucks that are going to be through here and you know filling up different gas stations and everything all of that stuff is coming from this location and then so knowing that we're going to have a lot of traffic most likely so we'll get an oil fuel loading and unloading over here as well and it looks like there's a one-way version which i don't know about that i i don't think we're going to use that here we'll just instead use it right like this all right and so we'll have you right here i think give me a little extra room and then we'll have this feed into that there we go so that's our fuel prov provisions our setup for fuel uh delivery over into this area which should be pretty good we have some basic construction resources that will constantly flood in here and sort of keep it you know keep it going as we build um we have vehicles now that can get over here uh from this location which is good uh, the only thing we have to do now uh one we need better roads so we're going to need to create gravel and other types of roads probably just asphalt roads i'm not sure 
exactly how the roads are going to be laid out yet because I'm going to pause it really quick because I see question marks over there. Um, not certain on how the roads are going to be laid out yet. And that's because I don't know about mechanical components, electrical components, uh, electrics, or electronics, possibly vehicle production, things like that can all be in this space. Uh, and, and until I know where those are going to be exactly placed, I'm not going to make roads. But I think this outer road right here is a pretty good one to at least make gravel, uh, especially when it comes to fire coverage. We're definitely going to want to be able to get things in there. Um, so I think I probably should just go ahead and make this whole stretch. Uh, I think this whole stretch could be made gravel. Yeah, from at least from here, uh, this one, uh, from here to here, probably both of these is fine. Uh, and then uh, let's get rid of this if I can. There we go. Make this whole stretch here be gravel all the way out to, I would say, at least here for now. And then we're just going to go in and tell the road construction crew to uh, do as much as this as they can, which currently says they can't get to any of these roads. Oh, right. I disconnected it. <laughs> of course, that would uh, that'll do it. <laughs> so let's bring this over we're right alongside you. Yep. And then this road comes this way. And honestly, I could just make this whole thing gravel, too. Because we're going to have a lot of stuff heading out this way, especially when we can't do concrete here yet. So I'm thinking maybe we even make this. I don't have the bitumen available to make this whole thing asphalt. I'm actually running low on that supply. because I've been making a lot of roads. So we'll just do gravel for now. We have tons of gravel. This whole stretch here is going to be made gravel. And then uh, let's do this little bit here and this little bit here too. So all of this gets made gravel by... Well as many many as we can anyway so we'll do that one first uh now speaking of gravel we need to get access to it with the trains right because we don't really have a means of taking gravel out that way right so even though and we're gonna actually make labor uh prompted to come out and do this no construction officers have path right i need to make an alternate path really quick here because we're making all those roads better so let's just bring this down come on now don't do this to me. Come on. Ah, you're going to make me do it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll bring it this road on this side of the track all the way over here, I guess. We need an alternate route, so this is what we'll do for it. Yeah. Through this, through this intersection. Yeah. All the way over to here. That's my alternate route. Okay. Uh, I need my workers to be able to get to here, here, and here. And now also the rest of the trucks can get in here to finalize things if they need to as well. And of course, helicopters, as much as you can, focus on all the iron and stuff like you already are. Okay. That's good. All right. What is, what's going on here? Let me see. You got... Uh, these guys are confused because they couldn't reach the construction office because my road yeah my road tools were uh i i removed all the access to the roads right so you guys you're gonna hang out over here for a bit because you you really can't get there now because i just told them to build gravel roads let's go like that there might be another vehicle that i that can't reach it i don't know we'll see um, but that frees up a road depot, which is nice. So gravel, Let's take a look at that really quick. At first I thought maybe I would just remove this because we're not really using it yet, but with this being like shipping gravel, right? And on top of that, we're going to hopefully start getting the cement plant running soon. We're at a 5% unemployment rate right now. We got almost almost 500 people that don't have a job because of no workplace and we also have over 500 people that are 21 plus without a flat and this is all without the increased birth rate i have not researched that yet it's right here right it's not done yet i've started it now but it's not done yet and it goes really quickly once you want it so i can actually do citizen vaccination that would be a better usage of your time uh speaking of which let's Maybe go into what else we got here. Let's try 
international air traffic rules and then for this side we'll i already did the uranium processing so now there's uranium enrichment i think i'll take a side or detour on that and go for advanced engineering first because i don't think we're really into nuclear just yet okay so anyway i was going to remove this but i think once we get this building operational and we start shipping gravel all over the place we're going to need more and so with that being said instead of replacing this what I'm going to do, it, I don't know if it's going to work because it's kind of like on the same boat as this where it's a small one, but I think for what I'm using it for, it should be okay. I'm going to take and grab a train aggregate load and I'm going to get the small one that goes right here with the idea that trains will be brought, will be bringing themselves into here to load up on gravel. Okay. So what we'll want to have first is the road. And the road is just going to do this little real quick little whoop de doo here. Wrap around this building and stick in right there. That's fine. Also, this can maybe start getting... I'm not sure when I disconnected the road, but I think it was when I started to make it asphalt through here. Why don't we temporarily do a cancel on this whole thing here? We'll get rid of that and this and this uh, we can actually just get rid of the signals and move them to be over here or something um let's get rid of i don't want to get rid of the entire thing maybe up to like say here all right and then up to this point too so we'll get rid of these signals too and then replace them with like this Okay, so with this area kind of just all being removed, all right? We're going to eliminate all of this, all right? That's what we're going to hope to do. And uh, I guess I'm going all the way back this far anyway. I didn't... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I am. All right, it's fine. So in order to really get that done, though, we need to, first off, tell you to ignore that light, and then you are going to come back home like this. I think I need to remove all track building from this because you don't do deconstruction unless it's like your only job for some reason so i'm gonna mark these segments to be deconstructed i think all of this yep to be deconstructed so that you start breaking it down right now hopefully so that's the only job you have yeah because there's no auto search so we're gonna break all those things down so that we can get in here and uh start looking at possibly getting gravel hooked up to our distribution trains they've already built that that was really quick wow i didn't see them doing that but i'm really glad they did it is very possible that when they eliminate these two segments they're not going to be able to get into here so to help prevent that i guess what i'm going to do is cancel the demolition on this these two segments and that way they can at least get to this crossing and get rid of it uh, without eliminating this part. And it, it's, it might be fine. Like, I might be able to keep this. So, But we're going to eliminate this part just so I can uh, redo it, I guess. What are you doing? Oh, you got to come back and... Yeah, that's, my, that's fine. All right. So with that done, quick check of our crops. Looking pretty good. Uh, zoom all the way out here to... Uh, Karasna Farms. And uh, this is almost loaded again. And now we see we're loading it in here. Yeah, so we really need to be able to collect more. I'm wondering why these fields are different. How are these? Do you not have these? Oh, I haven't. I don't have this one connected. Uh, I can fix that. That one just didn't get farmed at all last year. Uh, and then we also need to get construction crews out this way as well to get that farm online mm -hmm. yep probably need to look at power for this too we don't need it because it's again it's all it's only for refueling here at the scene and there are gas stations that have it so it isn't that big of a deal but we're gonna need power for the farm and stuff too if we want like fertilizers and stuff to be managed so i'm just gonna pop this in here as sort of a reminder to myself to do it like that and we'll just get uh get a crew on that too maybe the helicopters can help out there as well all right let's take a look really quick at one of these other question marks yeah you're confused i get it because i really don't get it you can't get to the customs house from where you are 
Well, because we're redoing the track, right? Because you normally would have to go this way. This mixed train is really kind of a burden because it's not supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, okay, tell you what, mixed waste train. Just go hang out in the depot, okay? You're not supposed to be in here. We'll let the trucks, we'll let these trucks deal with it for now so that the other trains don't get stopped from doing what they're doing. And we got a lot of construction waste and stuff. We're going to have to start setting that up later on too. 82 prisoners. Look at this. I like seeing this. This is every single thing I'm looking for right here. More loyalty, lower criminality, less affection for alcohol, more enjoyments in sports, happy, getting culture, and losing their sympathy for religion all at the same time. It's wonderful. I'm loving it. Okay. And how are we doing up here? I think we can probably turn this up to like 150 potentially, but since this is still full, I don't really care. Uh, since that's full, I might be able to just do this. We do have people without a job, right? So maybe we turn this on. Maybe we say, hey, let's let's generate more power. Oh, and while we're doing that, we could also upgrade these lines to be 18 megawatt, right? Although I would kind of like to do my own, get my own uh, electrical components before I'm doing that are really expensive but i mean we could yeah at least get started on that you know if they start working here it would instantaneously turn on assuming we get both of these things built it would just flip a switch and we would have power being pushed through these i don't think they are really all that stressed out i guess one of them is red and then another one's kind of yellow these ones are not under any serious load yeah, these are like more yellow in nature. So, I mean, we got a little bit of capacity to push more power out, but we definitely want to see about pushing it uh, with the 18 megawatt line. So maybe we take this opportunity to do that. I think we can replace these with 18s. Uh, so let's start that by changing out this main one here. So we'll leave the exports in that direction, but we'll change this one first. So we're going to go in this little extra, this little stretch right here from here to here. And we're going to bop. Oh, this whole, it's actually this whole thing. Okay. Well, maybe that is more expensive than I thought it would be. Yeah. Well, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> we're going to replace this entire stretch here. This is purely an export line. And we're going to replace this with... 18 so i guess we'll start here because it's a little hard to tell where those where those are going in so I'll start here and we'll just drag this whole line hold down the mouse come all the way over to here that so we're going to mark that for deconstruct and there is really just metal scrap and stuff i guess and then once this is deconstructed we can lay in the 18 megawatts all the way down there. That'll be sweet. Hello, track builder. Yeah, because you're confused because you have nowhere to go. Why are you confused? Well, because I destroyed the track. All right, so this guy needs to get out of here. You need to teleport. And then you're going to break down this remaining segment of track. And then the rest of the track is going to be hit from the other side, so it shouldn't interfere with logistics. Or shouldn't interfere with uh, the distribution office at that point. Any new helicopters to look at? Ooh, 83% for an MI cargo. Interesting. Nine years old. Probably not worth that money at nine years old, but... Uh, I don't need it right now. We'll hold off on that. And let me just real quick check the border. I might be able to find if there are any train sets. Hey, not the best. I would like to have seen like a much higher percentage of damage and stuff would have been nice, but okay. What about Metro trains? Yeah, it's not damaged enough. I really need to see these things, you know, have a lot higher wear and tear in order for them to be worth it. And trams really aren't worth much anyway, so okay. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. It's good to keep an eye on that. All right. Did I get this taken out of here? Yes, this is gone. Okay, so what we want to do is 
bring the 150. We're going to bring this across this way instead. There we go. And we're going to come right across this side and then over like this and then hook into that. So we're getting this a lot longer, but we're getting it out of this area, which is the most important thing. Uh, and then this side here probably needs to go as well. So is there anything that is that you are exclusively powering? You're getting it from there too. So it's probably just the pump jacks. No, you're getting a redundancy from there. And you're, so it's just this one pump jack. Everything else is powered by multiple things. So it's just this one pump jack. I'm all right with that. So we'll do the same thing here. We're going to take this cable out of here all the way to at least this point. Uh, at least I thought we were. Weird. It's not to there. All right. What, what the heck? Not highlighting the correct one. It's making me go all the way back to this spot, and I don't want to do that. But it looks like I'll have to. We'll just do that. So we'll bring it back. Same thing. That'll disconnect. It looks like just this one from power. I don't think anything else lost power. I've got a pretty good redundant system for power setup. There's a few places we've seen where there's only one thing, you know, only one substation powering it. But in general, our critical infrastructure has multiple sources of power at all times. In case a transformer goes down, it can be fed from the other side. But I really would like to get renewables to help me in you know, mitigating any potential issues there. And the best way to do that, I, I like the idea of putting it way up here. I'm thinking like we get helicopters to, to build it up here. It could look kind of cool, honestly. And uh, I don't know if we still have the... Uh, vehicles in range but yeah i don't but it'd be cool to, like flatten this out and just create like a big old wind farm up here and then we have like the power the power transformer could be here and here and then we just feed supplemental power into the city i think that'd be really cool so i might look into doing that uh it's a potential place to do it here too but that's more expensive since i have to take the high voltage lines further but it's still a possibility you know it's think of it like you're i don't know like at my at my old university at my college when I went to school, um, we had, there was this nice little area between two buildings and it's like a wind tunnel, right? You're walking in this narrow walkway between two big buildings and it just feels like the wind just really picked up. And, uh, it's because you're kind of like, you're kind of moving it into this enclosed area and forcing it through there in a narrow space. Uh, that's great for wind power. So we could potentially put it right through here. Oh, they built this already. That's fast. That's really fast. Building's on fire. Composting plant. We should be able to cover that. We now have fire truck here with 12 people in it. The helicopter's not even responding, so yeah, they're pretty confident that they can get to it, I guess. Uh, what else did I do between a couple videos? I don't remember. I paved this, so we have asphalt through here. I don't know if we... I'll probably show some footage of this. Uh, like, I'll take some footage and show you some things that I was doing in between... Um, I know you guys are liking the transitions with, uh, like the montages and stuff. I'm going to try to do that more often with whenever I say like, I'll be right back or whatever. Like I'm going to try to give you guys montages. Cause I, I know you guys like those and I kind of like making them. They're fun. Uh, but it isn't, um, it isn't like super critical to give it to you all the time. I suppose kind of depends on like how long like if if only uh a day or two has passed since the last time i said anything then like what there isn't really much to show i guess i could just do it for show but there isn't much to show um i'm gonna leave this here in case i need to move it but in general i was just getting this out of the way so that the cables were out of the way and i can reroute them around and put that put it back so uh in this spot for chemicals i would like to get a warehouse and i've been looking at the warehouses and i think i want this one there is a lot of capacity here and the really cool part about all this capacity is like not only can we store a lot of chemicals here but we also get to uh have a lot of factory connections which gives me some flexibility i'm gonna pop this i think right here 
And I'm going to hope that I can get the factory connection to be on this side instead. Yeah, just kind of give me some options on this side. I don't want to take all my options away. So this is where the warehouse is going to be, where we're going to store all the chemicals. And we'll just get... Uh... Well, I was hoping to push you through there, but maybe I can't. Let me... No? How about right here? Right here? Come on now. Wow. I mean, it could have been just a little bit to the right or to the left, right? Just a tiny bit. All right. Move this uh, storage. Yeah, warehouse. Let's put this where we know we can get that connection. Man, over here would be cool. I did want to get that road back, but it's starting to look like I don't really need it anyway. But putting this here is impossible because of the high voltage line, so never mind. If I scoot this back a little bit further, I should be more flexible with the road. I just have less space for everything else, though. Yeah. Well, or on the contrary, I might be able to make a factory connection without another... Yeah, you know, it's probably fine. We'll just put it right here. It should be able to make that work right there. Let me just see the road first. Really? Come on now. Don't do that. Is it really this? The power cables that are in the way? Yeah, right there. I don't know what's going on with it, but I guess I got to zigzag it. Okay. Um, go ahead and get that marked in. And then for the factory connection, we should be able to go like that. All right, good. 